what is going on guys it is your boy crypto mccall here coming today with a e300 video guys it has been we're here we are going over a 24 hour test of kind of how it has been so far over 24 hours we're going to let it go for at least 48 hours before we finalize this um and see how earnings have been solo mining caspa uh for the last 24 hours at least so far totally 48 hours um because i did notice that on my bcu the first 24 hours of blocks was not the best but it was still good um but i would assume the same thing is here gonna be have right for the e300 so let's dig into this so here is the e300 guys as you can see uh 13 0.55 giga hashes as it currently sits all right last 12 hours we uh, we've hit two blocks so far in the last 24 um, they say we would get according to the calculator we would get three blocks um, in a 24-hour period we've gotten two so far um, I know that it was kind of like on the BCU it was supposed to get one block a day and for like the first 24 hours it was like towards the end of the 24 hours it like it hit two blocks back to back but it took it a while before it actually even started to like hit blocks so i would assume this is probably the same thing but in 24 hours we have accrued 593 uh caspa that is from two blocks as you can see right here solo solo 66 percent and a 76 percent all right now that is currently on wooly pulley with 13.77 giga hashes so we're gonna let this sit for a little bit longer and kind of see how the next 24 hours plays out as well to see if we still hit just two blocks again or will we hit more than three blocks um, calculator says three uh, we'll check the calculator real fast all right we are here on hash rate dot no and uh, go over to calculator and we are at 13 1700 mega hashes for 535 watts minor fee is 10 percent so we should make 636 caspa per day or on average we have a 300 percent chance of finding a block of finding a block in a day on average you'll find three every day at the current network hash rate so uh, it just luck may not have been on our side for the first 24 hours um, So we'll kind of see how this plays out a little bit further, you know, our solo effort is 173 percent. So we should be Getting ready to hit a block and we should definitely see um, More blocks within the next 24 hours. So let's uh, let it sit for the 24 hours and we'll uh, We'll dig right back in right? We'll see you soon all right so it has been 48 hours now since we started hashing um, on the e300 for solo mining now according to the calculator the calculations are still like, around exactly the same we should hit about three blocks every day now 24 hours ago we had only hit two blocks in that 24 hour period now of course since then we have a uh, struck quite a few blocks um so these were the original two that we had hit that day and then all of the other ones came after so all of these rest of these were um the very next day uh these two hit today and then these ones hit the rest of the day like towards the end of the day after we recorded that um so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in the last 48 hours. Now they said we should hit two blocks or three blocks every every day. So right now we are uh, one block ahead of the current calculations, which puts us about in the last 24 hours we are just over 1.29k um, Caspa. But as you can see, we two 270 times that by seven so that is 1890 caspa 
uh, give or take in the last 48 hours all right so not not too shabby um, according to the calculator we should have only actually got um, 628 times 2 so we should have only hit um, 12,056 so that would give us a difference of I know this. One eight nine zero. So six hundred and thirty-four Caspa extra. Um, so it actually is more profitable right now, uh, at least for a higher amount of hash rate. Um, five gig, four gig of hash gets you a block a day. So anything less than that probably wouldn't make sense to solo mine but if you have more than maybe four giga hashes it does yield you better uh profits uh i know for my bcu rig I, I actually almost went a full 24 hours without ever touching a block and then it waited until the very last moment and then like literally it blocked and i was like oh there's the one for the day and then the next day it hit two uh like for about halfway through um uh, about 12 hours a piece between each other so as of right now it looks like it's definitely more profitable to solo mine on caspa with uh the e300 and yeah pretty fa i'm glad this was a a pretty easy test and it seems to be yielding better profits so i would like to try out a few different pools um if you have any thoughts or opinions on solo mining Caspa in a different pool, put your uh, pool down in the comment section below. I'd be curious to know. And uh, yeah, we'll catch y'all the next time, guys. Much love. Peace out. Stay hashing. And a big shout out to uh, the customer at The Family Mine who is allowing me to make content over this. And uh, yeah, you're awesome, guy. See y'all later, guys. Peace. Be sure to like and subscribe, remember, and hit that bell notification, and share this video across any social media platform that you may have. We'll see you on the next one.